correlation doesn't equal causation. On September 22nd, the Trump administration claimed that acetaminophen, aka Tylenol, in pregnancy may cause autism. This claim has been in the news, but the evidence tells a different story. Some studies found a link between acetaminophen use in pregnancy and ADHD or autism, but a link doesn't mean a cause. Experts from Yale School of Public Health emphasize that no causal link has been proven. Other factors like genetics, maternal illness, or fever could explain some of these outcomes. If more children with autism were exposed to Tylenol during pregnancy, that does not necessarily mean that Tylenol is what caused autism. Autism is shaped by many things like genetics and the environment. So when two things happen at the same time, doesn't always mean that one is what caused the other. That's why people say correlation does not equal causation. In fact, Tylenol is currently the only over-the-counter pain reliever and fever reducer considered safe for pregnant individuals. Common alternatives like Advil, Motrin, and Aleve are not generally recommended, especially during the third trimester. Telling people to avoid Tylenol without clear proof could leave pain or fever untreated. And untreated fever and pain both can raise the risk of miscarriage, birth defects, or early labor. Treating autism as something to stop or fear is harmful. It wrongly blames parents and ignores the many factors that shape neurodivergence. Autism is not a disease and there is also not a cure for it. It is simply a different way in which the brain works. And public health messaging must reflect this nuance. People deserve science, not politics. Talk to your primary healthcare provider, use meds wisely, and remember, correlation does not equal causation.